Hi, I'm Don, and this is The Hobbyist Geek. Welcome back, everybody. All right, today we are going to be finishing off this gorgeous Star Saber build from Moo Model. Uh, this is the IDW version of Star Saber. Last time around, we got these beautiful arms. We got a bunch of accessories. In part one, we got the bottom half with the legs. And today, we've got the torso, the head, and the backpack. I can't wait. This is looking like an absolutely beautiful piece. So why don't we just stop talking and get right into the build?
All right, all right. And here is the completed piece. Uh, I'm going to do things a little bit differently this time around. We'll show the fully assembled with all the accessories uh, model in just a bit. But, I mean, just look at all of these accessories. This is incredible. Uh, I'm really pretty pleased with this, other than the fact that it's much smaller than I had hoped it would be. Uh, the piece itself is extraordinary. And even better, you don't have to pick and choose on the accessories. Every one of them can be on the model at one time, and we'll showcase that in a little bit as well. But let's take a closer look at what we built this time around. And if you come in, you can see we've got this uh, beautiful abdomen piece here with these rounded gears here, which really add a level of detail that just kind of make it stand out when you look closely at it. And then we've got this gorgeous red and gold sternum with the uh, chest plate here. Absolutely awesome. We've got this gold shoulder detail here, which is amazing. The head sculpt, eh, it does leave a little bit to be desired. Um, it wasn't as hard to assemble as I had uh, assumed it was going to be. Um, because of this little lip on the helmet, he, he does seem to be looking down, which I, I guess contributes a bit to his appearance of size in the still images. But it also means that you really kind of got to tilt him up if you want to see what's underneath. Not much in the way of eye detail in there. And, I mean, you can see... I mean, there's not a lot there to speak of. Uh, he's got that wonderful little uh, mouth shield going on there, reminiscent of Optimus with this great crest going across the helmet. All in all, uh, very, very, very nice. The back, not a lot to say to this. It's very, very flat, um, but that's because this is where his backpack is gonna go. And right here, we've got some magnets to help hold it in place. Uh, you can see here underneath the shoulders, this great rounded silver detail with the uh, gold highlights. Nobody's really going to see it that much, given its location, but it still looks beautiful. And then there's the backpack itself. Now this is actually really light, given how large and thick it appears. And I mean, just look at this detail. You've got this wonderful layered separation in there. I mean, it looks like it's ready to just kind of collapse in on itself for transformation, which is awesome. You got this beautiful venting, these little bits up here, this crest thing, which is, I mean, it's just gorgeous. I mean, and you can take a look at the back, you know, we've got obvi obviously all these blades, that layering effect is even more prevalent on this side. Um, this blade does move a little bit, this one as well. It's just the way it attaches. It's a single tab on this side. There's not a lot you can do. It's not gonna move around when it's sitting in your display. But other than that, I mean, just look at this. I mean, we've got this great gold venting down here. It looks like uh, thruster exhausts. Um, this thing really looks like it's ready to take off. And right here and here are another set of magnets to really secure that connection when you attach it. And attaching it is as simple as just lining it up and letting the magnets do their thing. Okay, nice, simple, and it is really securely held. As for the other accessories, uh, which we really covered in the previous issues, so I won't get too much into them, but the shield here uh, has a couple tabs. Those tabs go into slots on the arm and there's an, a magnet in the forearm as well to hold it in place. And the shield will work on the left or right arm. Got this gauntlet looking thing, which attaches exactly the same way. Again, works left or right arm. This beautiful sword here. Um, I'm a little concerned because, you know, the, the, the grip does go in and it has to go in at an angle. 
and I'm, I'm worried that if you remove it too many times that you're going to start seeing some paint chip away. It's really kind of tight and that angle doesn't help it very much. There it goes. Um, but it, it, it'll work in left or right hand. This sword as well, same, same type of grip, will go in the left or right hand. And you've also got the scabbard. Now the scabbard's got this grip here, but this is not going to fit in either hand because of the pommel. Um, it's just hollow on the inside and you can take your, uh, your blade here. It only fits this blade and that'll just go in. There is uh, a magnet right here, which will hold it on the inside, but that magnet also fits right into a hole right there on his waist. Uh, it is a really tight fit and it's kind of finicky to get this in but it does fit, it does go in, there we go. And you can see that it works just fine. Now I highly recommend that you put this on before the backpack if you're going to be using it. But uh, there you go, I mean this is what the assembled pieces look like. Let's go ahead and see what he looks like with all of his accessories attached. And here he is, fully assembled, looking absolutely gorgeous and i mean i really 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 like this figure i think he looks wonderful fully assembled i will say this though when you look at him you don't really think transformer he honestly kind of looks more like a gundam than a transformer but all that said i mean it's still a really amazing piece and an incredible look um the the metal they used uh the paint the metallic paint the shine absolutely magnificent piece i'm very 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 happy to have this guy in my collection but let's go ahead and get into some size comparisons so first up here we've got him sitting next to the g1 starscream and as you can see he is significantly smaller than Starscream. This whole IDW line is so much smaller than the G1 line. I'm not sure why they made that particular design decision, but they did. Um, and you can see why I was so disappointed with the size of Star Saber here. But, you know, from a detail perspective, they're both wonderful. And Star Saber definitely holds his own. He's just about half the size. And here he is next to the IDW Tarn and Drift. Let's see if we can get Drift here facing forward. Um, and as you can see, I mean, he really kind of lines up with him. Tarn is a larger figure. I'm assuming in the comics that he is also a larger figure. But he's about the same height there as Drift. So he does kind of line up to this IDW scale. Um... I'm enjoying this. I am enjoying this particular line. I'm kind of sad there's only two figures left, but I am looking forward to get into them. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.